Hello everyone! Today we're starting a new project! Alright, so today's project would have been really fun to do at school. I had it all year that we were going to do this at the end of the year. And it's nice that our book kind of gave us a little hint of something, but we are going to do a sewing pocket project. So do you remember in the book when Laura filled her pocket full of pretty rocks at the lake and it broke because she filled it too full? Well, today we are going to make our own pocket. We're not going to make a pocket that we put, you know, our like in our jeans or something, but we're going to make just kind of like a pouch. So I have here everything that we need. Mrs. Heather has stayed up late cutting and measuring and doing everything the past couple of nights so you'd have a nice little set to go off of. So let's go over the first thing and the most important thing. This is a sewing project. That means you have needles and pins. A needle is what you sew with. It does not have a small ball at the end and it has a little hole in the top for the thread. You will get poked. If you don't, you're amazing. I always get poked when I even I sew on a button sometimes, you know. That's the thing. It is sharp. You can touch it. It doesn't feel that great. But just know, I'm sorry if you get poked. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, of course you don't have to, but this is a pretty fun project. And then there, so that was a sewing needle, and he, all of these little colored ones are the pins. So these help hold down your material, and we'll be using those definitely. So that's my first disclaimer is, I'm sorry if you get poked. Don't get discouraged if you get poked. Just rub it, rub it, rub it. If you need to go wash your hands, get some cool water on it, that's fine. But don't say, I'm done. Okay, I promise it's a cool project. So don't, don't lose hope because you got poked. All right. The next thing is our material, jean material, okay? So this is the size of our pouch right here. It's going to shrink because we are going to sew our pieces down and whatnot. But this is what our pouch looks like. It's, I have it all labeled out the top of the pouch. And I have this in right here because it's the inside of the pouch. So don't put your buttons there, <laughs> okay? And then this is the bottom of the pouch. Okay, and then there are also three little lines where there's three little holes. And that will be toward the end. I'm just showing you everything right here. Okay, the next thing is you have two pieces of like a uh, leather. So you have a very long one that will be to tie your pouch closed. And then you have an extra short one, which will be um, if you want to tie it to a belt or something or just tie a knot so then it'll... Um, be able to hook to something. We'll go over that too right at the end. That's the thing right at the end of the very last time. Okay. Here you have your thread. All right. I hopefully gave you plenty of thread. If you don't have enough thread, let me know. Um, and I will bring you some more. But hopefully this should be enough. I'm not planning on using much more than this. This is quite a bit of thread. All right it's all wrapped around this nice chopstick okay and our last item is buttons so you will have buttons you do not have to use your buttons I'd like you to use at least one button just so then you know how to sew on a button so the whole thing with this is you can use them to decorate or anything like that and so we're gonna go over that actually today right now so I've gone over everything with you. These are what's in your packs. I'm going to nicely put this back. And you will be getting these on Friday and starting these on Monday. So no worries with that. You will also need uh, your pair of scissors just to cut the thread when you need to. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Here we go. All right, so here I have mine. It's a bit smaller than yours, but I just wanted it to be 
small enough and easy to show you easy to show you when we're working on it okay so here we have our thing the first thing I need well the first thing we're actually gonna do is we are going to learn to thread a needle and we're going to sew a button on it and there it is okay so I have my thread right here and I have my needle in my hands so you each have a nice needle and they all have the same sized hole you're going to look I know this is really tiny let's see can I get it no 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 anyways you've got a tiny little hole in there so your goal is to put this little piece of thread into the tiny hole okay it might take a few tries oh, I got it second try Okay, and then you're just going to pull your thread. Man, it's just kind of hard to see. Then I got a glare. Okay, we'll try it back here. Then you pull your thread. Okay, when you pull your thread, there we go. When you pull your thread, you're going to want two layers, two parallel pieces of thread. Now, for a button, you're not going to want that much but I have my two layers of thread right here and eh, I'm gonna have it be that's even kind of too long I would have it be around <clears throat> excuse me around eight or so inches that's about eight inches okay I look and I find my end of my thread and I cut them pretty close all right I'm done with my thread for a moment now I'm going to tie a knot, okay? So the easiest way to tie a knot with this is you take the ends, I'm trying to make sure you guys see. You take the ends, you hold them, you take your finger, you wrap it around and you make a circle, okay? You make your circle, then this thread is going to go through the circle. Ah, sorry, I'm trying really hard to keep it in frame. And then you go through the circle. And I've made my little knot. Granted, oh my goodness, Miss Heather is dying. There we go. Okay, there we go. So I have my nice little knot. It's very tiny, but it's right there and it will hold. All right. So if you want to double knot it, you can. You just do the same exact thing make a circle put your thread through the hole and then try to make it on the same knot so there's a double knot you can see it a little bit better but that's a double knot make a circle with it put it through the hole okay now we're going to sew on a button okay so let's see here i have a couple of extra i think i'll sew on mm, this big white one Okay, so I look here and I think, okay, where do I want my button? Because you can put, you know, I have a pin here. You can draw things on your pouch after you sew your button. So I think I'll just go ahead and plan to put my button right in the center. All right, so remember, this is the inside. Your button will not be seen. Don't put it on the inside. Make sure to put it on the outside. You're going to place your button down where you think you want it. Okay? Now this can be the tricky part, but don't worry. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your needle, you're gonna go like, okay, my buttons, I'm holding my button down right here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just try to poke it through. Oh, that wasn't it. Try to poke through, be careful, go really slow so you don't poke yourself at this point. But I got it. My button is down and I can poke through. All right, and I pull. Now my button's not going anywhere. I'm not holding on to it. It's stuck. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go diagonally over my button. So now I want to make sure you guys can see. Now I stick my needle through. Be careful though. My fingers are back here. I can definitely get poked. So go slow. 
be careful. And if you go slow, you won't get your thread all knotted up. So go slow, be careful with your thread because it can definitely get knotted up. All right, I've got one little stitch. Now, if I was really playing with this, that one little stitch would not hold. So I need to do some more. Now I have my thread. You kind of can't see that. Let's see, how can I turn it to where maybe you can see it? All right, so I have my one blue thread right here. I don't have anything on these other two. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to fit or try to put my needle through that other hole. There we go. So there's my needle through the other hole and I'm going to pull, pull, pull. Make it nice and tight. You don't want to yank it, but you definitely want to pull it. Okay, and then I'm going to put it through the other hole that doesn't have anything in it. Er, 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 er. Careful of your fingers on the back. Okay, and then we're going to nicely pull it. There we go. My button is on there. Generally though, people like to do at least two passes of this because if you're really playing, it'll just pop right off if you're not careful. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do two more. Er, and you can do it diagonally or you can just have it be again the little cross. There you go. Again be the little cross that I have it. My button is stuck on there. The back, all you see is just this little bit of blue thread right there. And we'll trim that later, but I gotta find my hole. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Takes a little time, don't get upset. Maybe I can look back here and find it. There we go, I found it. Oh, well I did when I had it turned. Okay, there we go, all right. Don't worry, go slow. If you need to ask your parents for help, you can, but I really want you to try and do it yourself as well. Okay, got it through that hole. Gonna put it through the other one and pull carefully. Oop, go slow, because then you can fix things if you go slow. And then I'm gonna do that top one. Let's see, can I find it, can I find it? Yeah, I'll have to look. And there it is, right there. It's okay if you touch the threads. Yeah. Hmm. With the other threads. Eh. Buttons take a second. Okay, come on you. Is that it? There it is. But I'm just going slow because I don't want to poke myself. I am notorious for poking myself. All right. And I put through the last one. Okay, so I've done two pass-throughs and I my button is secured on my thing. Even if I play with it, it's not gonna come out. So now I come to the back. Now I'm going to make a knot. This is the part that you might ask your parents for help if you can't, if you're not quite, let me make sure I get the shine off if you're not quite getting it, okay? But what you're gonna do is you're going to take your needle, you are going to sew a little bit next to where you've last done your stitch. So look, I've just got my needle floating on top. I didn't stick it through to the button area. It's like behind the button hiding, okay? So I just made a little tiny stitch behind the button so nobody will see it. I don't want anybody to see this. And then look, I've created another hole, just like how I did with my knot. There you go, let me do it to the side. See, there's my hole, right there. And I am just going to put my needle through it and pull down. And then I'm gonna do it again, right behind the button. There you go, this one's only got like two threads underneath. Let me make it a little bit more. Okay, so I've got my needle through. I'm gonna pull gently. And I made my nice little hole for my needle to go right through and I'm going to pull. 
that's it. Make sure you don't want to yank it too hard, but you definitely want to pull it so it stays. And that's it. That's how you sew on a button. Now I'm going to trim because I have my needle still connected. Alright, that's taken off. And now I have my trim for my very first knot. Trim. That's it. I got that's all that's there. And I've got my button. Okay, so once you put your button on, you can definitely like draw. You can get a permanent marker and you can draw on the front. So let me just let me oh. I've just got a pen here, so I'm just going to draw a flower on mine because I can, and Miss Heather likes flowers. Okay, so you don't, so you each have, I think, 12 buttons in your packs of all different shapes. There's some little ones, some only have two holes in it. So if you don't really want to do the four hole thing, there's quite a few that have two holes. But here we go. If you have paint at home, you could even paint on it. You know, but just think probably buttons and permanent marker will probably stay the longest. So today that is our lesson. Um, we are going to have our you can look at me for this. Today we're going to have our uh, Zoom at 1. And I want to see if anybody's started, if anybody has looked at this. Okay, so um, I think that'll be fun. If you could just try to sew on one button. Remember, you can ask your parents or you can always call me or you can wait for the Zoom. All right? But it's always easier to just kind of have it ready and then tell us about it. Okay? So, like I said, I'll be available, so call me if you need me. I can definitely FaceTime on my phone. But there it is, your button. Hopefully it goes well. That was our lesson today, and you can put on all the buttons. And remember, you have two, you have two things. It can go on the outside of both of these. So if you want six buttons on one side, six buttons on the other, do it. All right. But remember, you can't do it on the inside. Don't do it on the inside part that says in. Okay. They all have to be facing out. All right. I am so excited. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you could see it. That's my main thing. I hope you can see it. Um, and that's it. Have a great day. Bye.